So uh, if you're here, chances are you like hex cells. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own hex cells levels and how to publish them. The first step is to download the editor, uh, which is called the six cells editor, which you find uh, on this page here. So on github.com slash black spirit, that is black spirit with an X in the middle, slash uh, six cells. And let's remove that slash six cells. It looks like this. Uh, if you're on Linux, uh, you will want to read the installation guidelines here so you know which packages to install. On Windows, things are easier. You just had to release this and download the latest uh, release, which is a zip file, um, which you then extract in a place of your choice. For example, your game directory, whatever. So let's say you managed to download and extract the editor, then you would run it. So you would open editor.exe and you would be presented with an empty level, which you can now place hexes into. So you do this by right-clicking. So right-clicking places uh, black hexes and if you misclick somehow you can remove hexes by right-clicking on them again. And uh, the level would be boring if it had only black hexes in it. So uh, let's place some blue hexes, which we do by left-clicking. So I right-click on these black hexes to remove them and left-click to place blue hexes instead. Now, uh, let's say I want to playtest this level. Um, I do this by pressing the tab key, which presents me with this state uh, where I cannot do anything because I haven't revealed any cells yet. So we need to mark cells to be revealed at the start, which we do by pressing alt and then clicking on a cell. Now if I press tab again I start from this state and I can indeed uh, start playing the level and do some deductions. Uh, now in this state I'm, I'm stuck because uh, I don't have enough information to proceed. So now is a good time to tell you how to, um, to switch the hint type of a cell. So I, I, if I click on this too um, it will switch to disconnected to because these blue hexes are disconnected. If I pre press again I get to question mark. If I press again I'm back at the two again. So left clicking on, on it will cycle through the hints. And if I do it on this two then um, well because they are connected I will get these uh, connectedness information instead. Alright so now if I press tab again I'm, I'm back in the state where I left off and I continue solving the level and indeed this is a very simple level. Okay I haven't shown uh, you how to place column type hints yet, so let's do this. You click into a cell and you drag uh, to the direction you want to want the, the 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 number to be. So if I if I click here, drag up, I get this column hint. If I drag here, I get this column hint. I remove them by right clicking on them, and if I want. Uh, to switch the type, I left click on it and uh, you see how this works. All right, now let's talk about the solver functionality. So I start the level again from the beginning. Now what I can do is I can press solve one step. And what this does is it looks at the state, which uh, was only this, this black zero being revealed, and it deduces what can be revealed uh, with that information. So in this case it would be these these two hexes. And now if I use the functionality again, uh, I do so by pressing S, then uh, it deduces from this state. And now if I, if I press it again, it will continue trying to solve the level. So now by having pressed S multiple times, I have verified that my level is indeed solvable without guessing, which is good for quality control. If I had uh, started the level in uh, with this state, uh, so with this end at the 2, then I would get stuck. So let uh, you, you start over, by the way, by pressing play from start or pressing shift and tab. Otherwise you get in the state where you left off. So let's press shift and tab. And now if I press S multiple times, then the solver will get stuck here, which tells me that some information is missing in my level. Alright, so let's say uh, we are ready to publish this level now. So the first thing we'd have to do is to set the level information. So 
one important field is the author name, so who you are. Uh, the second is the title, where you can think of some creative name for the, the level. And then these two lines are what is displayed in-game as custom text. So for example, Matthew used this in, the, in, in late levels to say something like, uh, columns contain an odd number of cells, which uh, we can leave blank in our case, or we could add a witty, witty, witty comment or something, whatever we want. Uh, let's uh, add witty comment just to show you what how it is displayed. So if I go to the player now and uh, let's adjust the viewport, you can see that your title, uh, the title is now awesome level, uh, the author is displayed and we have some some comments here. Alright, so now that all the information is present we can copy the level to the clipboard. Let's see what this does. So I'll show you what is in my clipboard by pasting it here in my text editor and this is um, what's in there. So it starts with um, five uh, strings of meta information and then some some block that somehow resembles the level. So and how is this used? Well what you do is uh, you take this in your clipboard and you head over to Reddit. Uh, you head over to reddit.com slash r slash hex cells levels, which is the subreddit for, um, for, for posting these levels, which we created. And then you do uh, submit a new text post and you paste your level in there and you choose some title, my awesome level. And what you should include is, first of all, a tag that says that it's a level. Uh, it could also be a level pack, for example, or it could be some meta discussion. So this is a level. And you should um, add in parentheses um, an estimation of how difficult you think your level is. So this would be simple. Also, um, you might want, want to add some, some custom text. So for example, hey guys, check out my level. And then you would separate this with three stars from the actual level, which will display a horizontal line, which we'll see uh, later. So let's try this, how this looks like. And and this is it here. So you see this is your, your custom uh, greeting to the community. And then you have this horizontal line. And here, a possibility to cleanly copy the level which people can then play in Hexel's Infinite themselves, since Matthew implemented a functionality to play levels that uh, are, are currently copied into the clipboard. All right, and then uh, people can comment on your level, people can uh, upvote or downvote your level, so this should be downvoted, it's a really bad level. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Here in, in Reddit we have some, some more guides how to create and publish your levels, which is basically what I just said in this video. By the way, this format which you see here is the same format which is used to save levels from the editor. So what I haven't showed you yet is how to save a level, which is really easy. You do file save as, and then by default it is saved as dot hex cells, which is exactly the format which uh, you have just seen. You can also save uh, in other formats which uh, is not really advisable and yet, unless you're a programmer and want some more accessible format. So now you should be all set to create your own levels. Uh, I hope you do. Uh, see you on Reddit. I hope you create some exciting levels.